Believe it or not, places in Minnesota, North Dakota, and even Canada have gotten hotter than Tennessee. News 2 meteorologist Alex Libby is here to explain why we have yet to reach the 90s this year. Alex. Yeah, it's been humid, but it really hasn't been that hot. Still, we have not reached the 90s here in Nashville. Now, it's pretty normal for us to reach the 90s in the summer months. We usually see about 54 days and a lot more than that recently. But so far, 2025, zero 90 degree days, which is actually pretty abnormal. We average about two 90 degree days each May. There it is, two each May. The most 90 degree days in the month of May is actually 16, so it can get very hot in the month of May. But this is the craziest part. The last time we went the entire month of May with no temperatures in the 90s was all the way back in 2013. So more than 10 years since we've been this cool, this late into the spring. We're not to summer quite yet, but it's just been so cool. And yes, cooler than places well to our north. Now this graphic says, have you hit 90? Well, there's a lot of places that have it, including Atlanta, in Nashville, in Kansas City. But Chicago, Minneapolis, and Fargo have all reached the 90 degree mark so far year, this year. So why is that? Well, it has to do with all the rain and clouds that we've had. You saw from all those live cameras Danielle showed, cloudy skies, that reflects the sun's energy back into the atmosphere. Another reason is all the rain and humidity that we've seen. It takes a lot more energy to heat up air with a lot of water in it, with a lot of humidity. And there was a stretch up in North Dakota where they had a kind of a drought and a southerly wind, and that's how they, they were able to reach 90 degrees. Now, like you saw from Danielle, our stretch might end pretty soon. Tuesday, June 3rd, 89, the Wednesday, June 4th, we could reach 90 degrees. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Alex.